If you aren't ready to jump into Loop with both feet, that's okay. Microsoft's added the ability to create Loop components right within OneNote. This is a powerful feature that'll let you ease into Loop. Today, I'm gonna explain what benefits you can expect, how you can get started, and a few pro tips to make sure things go great for you. If you've ever tried to do real-time collaboration in OneNote, you probably found the experience less than ideal, which results in people not actually doing real-time collaboration. Instead, one person is in control and everyone else can only see what's going on instead. With Loop, everyone can collaborate on content in real time without any fear of the dreaded conflicting changes error. One of the biggest benefits of Loop is all of the built-in components, like Kanban boards to manage tasks, advanced tables that support filtering, sorting, voting, retrospectives, and so many more. By embedding Loop components into your OneNote notebooks, you can take advantage of all of these great dynamic components without breaking your current flow. Now that you know a little bit about the benefits that you can get, let's walk through how to actually do this. If you're new here, we create content all about Microsoft 365. We've recently been focusing a lot on Loop. If that's something you're interested in, I'd encourage you to subscribe to our channel. From OneNote, you can go to the Insert menu to find the list of Loop components you can start with. Once you select a component, you may see two options, Share and Insert, or Display as Link. If you choose Display as Link, you'll not actually be able to work with the Loop component in OneNote. So we're gonna focus on the Insert and Share option. If you don't see these options, then OneNote will automatically insert and share. Now that I've inserted a Kanban board, you can see that I can do things like drag it around, or add some tasks. Change the view, like go to the table instead of the, the board view. Or even insert more components. The last benefit I wanna talk about doesn't actually have anything to do with OneNote. Loop components are integrated with numerous Microsoft applications like Teams and Outlook. This means you can seamlessly collaborate in real time from all of these tools. This lets you meet your collaborators where they're most comfortable without missing a beat. To collaborate, all you need to do is have another user open OneNote and start in to interact with the Loop component. Because this interaction is happening in Loop, you'll experience modern real-time collaboration, so long as you stick to just the content that's in the loop component. But you can also share the loop component using something like Teams. To do this, you just need to click on the copy icon, and this copies the link to the loop component to your computer's clipboard. You can then go into Teams and paste the loop component into a channel post and send the message. And now, any changes that you make to the loop component in either OneNote or Teams will sync between the two apps. Now you should start to see the true power this gives you. So let's talk about a few tips that will make your life easier. While it's really easy to share loop components and ignore what's happening behind the scenes, understanding a little bit about how this works will empower you to effectively manage the content you create. When I created a loop component earlier, the OneNote was in my OneDrive. So the loop component was created in my OneDrive. When I copied the loop component, it created a, a sharing link configured to allow anyone in my organization to edit the loop component, which that you can see here when I click on this. You can change this by creating the loop component from a different place, like if I created the component in Teams and then copied it into OneNote, you can also simply modify the sharing settings for the link right here. You can also check who has access using the other icons on any loop component. Now that you know about how loop components work, you'll want to share this information with others that you collaborate with. This is important because even though using loop components in OneNote is pretty straightforward, it significantly changes how you'll collaborate with everyone. You wanna make sure everyone knows the basics, which are 
Loop components in Teams and Outlook are editable, not just read-only. Two, when you edit information in one location, all the other copies are automatically and instantaneously updated. Now that you're in love with Loop components, you may want to make the full switch to using the Loop app. But maybe your IT department won't let you. Chances are this is because when the Loop app launched, it was missing a ton of IT management features. This is an area Microsoft's been working on, and I think we'll see more coming from them. I would suggest you ask your IT team what specific features Loop is missing. That way you can watch the Microsoft roadmap to see when those features become available. Using Loop components in OneNote is a game changer for anyone who wants to start using Loop, but aren't quite sure they want to go all the way. You get most of the benefits of Loop without losing the familiarity of OneNote. So start integrating Loop components today and take your collaboration to the next level. Hey, if you're looking to make the most of Microsoft 365 at your business, our team would be happy to have a quick call with you to learn if we'd be the right fit. If you're interested, check the link in the description below.